even before season 4 started airing, Outlander, was renewed for season 5 and 6 at a go. Fans can rest assured their beloved Claire and Jamie will be back facing new challenges, adversaries and adventures in seasons 5 and 6 as we delve into American history and continue the story of the Frasers as they settle in the new world, STARS President and CEO Chris Albrecht said in a statement in May 2018. And at New York Comic Con in October on 2018, showrunner Ronald Moore confirmed that additional seasons have been approved. That is a fact he said when asked about seasons 5 and 6. Filming has already started for the new seasons and fans are getting a relief from Drought Lander, as stars are teasing what's coming in the next installment. Release Date No official announcement on the release date has been made yet. Plot The coming two seasons will be based on the fifth and sixth books of Diana Gabaldon's Outlander series, The Fiery Cross and A Breath of Snow and Ashes. Each season will have about 12 episodes and will explore the storylines beyond the books, mainly because the stars' show has deviated from Gabaldon's story, and Murtaugh Fitzgibbons is not only alive, but is also the central character for the coming season as Jamie Fraser has been ordered by Governor Tryon to find and execute Murtaugh, the regulator, who also happens to be Jamie's godfather. Every year we approach it fresh. Executive producer Ronald D. Moore told you in March of last year. Should we keep it a book a season? We've done that up until now. But we've talked about splitting books, and we've talked about combining them. We want to be free in the writer's room to pick and choose and do what feels most comfortable that year. Almost a year after that interview, Meryl Davis, the co-executive producer of the show shared that they are already knee-deep with season 5. Added to that there was an assurance that unlike season 4 where the OG couple, Jamie and Claire got comparatively lesser sex and screen scenes, season 5 will have more on-screen time. However, expect more of Brianna's and Roger's story to be explored since Sophie Skelton, who plays Brianna Fraser in the time-traveling drama, shared they haven't really sat down and had any conversations yet, the actress said, adding, they left on a big fight, and they haven't even talked that out and now they've got a baby to think of, too. They could put everything that happened aside, or it could complicate things and make things harder. The books have helped us in guessing what's coming next, so taking a cue from Gabaldon's publisher, Penguin Random House, here's how the fiery cross, has been described. The year is 1771, and war is coming. Jamie Fraser's wife tells him so. Little as he wishes to, he must believe it for hers is a gift of dreadful prophecy, a time traveler's certain knowledge. Born in the year of our Lord 1918, Claire Randall served England as a nurse on the battlefields of World War II, and in the aftermath of peace found fresh conflicts when she walked through a cleft stone on the Scottish Highlands and found herself an outlander, an English lady in a place where no lady should be, in a time, 1743, when the only English in Scotland were the officers and men of King George's army. Now wife, mother, and surgeon, Claire is still an outlander, out of place, and out of time, but now, by choice, linked by love to her only anchor, Jamie Fraser. Her unique view of the future has brought him both danger and deliverance in the past, her knowledge of the oncoming revolution is a flickering torch that may light his way through the perilous years ahead, or ignite a conflagration that will leave their lives in ashes. Cast Core and fan favorite characters including Katrina Balfe, Sam Hewen, Sophie Skelton, Richard Rankin, and John Bell will reprise their roles as Claire Fraser, Jamie Fraser, Brianna Randall Fraser, Roger McKenzie, and young Ian, respectively. Murtaugh, and Joe Casta, as well as Lord John Gray will be played by Duncan LaCroix, Maria Doyle Kennedy, and David Barry. Ed Spillers who plays the villainous role of Stephen Bonnet may come back as fans believe he is still alive and escaped the bombing of jail in Wilmington. The show based on a series by Diana Gabaldon, Outlander, was first published in 1991. Prior to being an author, she was the founding editor of Science Software Quarterly in 1984 at Arizona State University, and in the mid-1980s, she went on to explore her writing skills with software reviews, popular science articles and comic books for the Walt Disney Company. 
She was a professor with an expertise in scientific computation at ASU for 12 years before leaving to write full-time. News Katrina Bauf and Sam Hewen are producers, expect more screen time for the OG couple, Claire and Jamie Fraser will not only take up the role of grandparents in season 5, but will also step behind the camera and wear producers' hats. Author Diana Gabaldon has received a special award for services to Scottish tourism as the country witnessed a meteoric rise in tourists following Stars' Outlander series. Trailers Season 5 and 6 have no trailer yet but you can check the space for updates. Where to watch Outlander airs on Stars. Season 4 Recap Season 4 finale witnessed young Ian triumph as the ultimate man of worth as he heroically sacrifices himself to save Roger from the Mohawks. The good news is that Ian finds a place for himself among the Mohawks as he passes their grueling test to qualify as one of the tribesmen. Roger and Brianna unite in Aunt Jill cast as River Run, while Jamie Fraser receives a telegram order that he ought to kill Murtaugh, who is his godfather. Significant highlights include Brianna giving birth to a son before reuniting with her parents and later, Roger. The baby may or may not be Roger's but the season ended with Roger accepting the child. Season 5 is bound to bring more family drama, not to mention the political divisions from the unavoidable revolutionary war. If you like this, you'll love these. Timeless, Travelers DC's Legends of Tomorrow, Game of Thrones, Under the Dome.